And now we are going to introduce the configurations, which is the most important part of our software. And now we will say that we will from, start from the install direction. And the default direction of installation is horizontal. So and we need to set the vertical step. Firstly, you need to set the centers starting from the center's axis. This line is Y, and this would be X. So you need to put your Y axis. Like this way, and put in straightly, vertically, vertically, to horizontal, and hit vertical. OK, and now, as you can see, once we put the centers to the horizontal place, you will see minus 80 degrees on angle X. It should be 0 degrees, close to 0 degrees when you set the horizontal. OK, and now we set different configurations. Setting bad, we reset the center. Bad to horizontal. OK, and the same position, but 0 degrees. Same position, OK. And now we go into the next function. The acceleration calibration will help to decrease the acceleration bias when using the centers. So you hit and uh, let's separate into two parts. We hit the data. OK. And now you can see the centers, maybe it may be 100. And uh, this one. Please notice to angle as acceleration as well as the angle here. We hit acceleration, step one. Place the center horizontal in the even place. Okay, after calibrate, the centers will go exactly zero degree, uh, zero G on X and Y, but one G in the Z axis. For the angle, you will see, it will go back directly to zero degrees on X and Y axis which means the acceleration calibrated with good performance. OK, we move on. For the, for the magnetic field, there will be new videos for introduction. So let's move on to angle difference. Uh, for example, here the position is 0, 0 degrees on X and Y. And we set, we, let's say, we set this position as zero degrees, which means go back and we set the angle reference, the angle reference here, which means this position we are considering to be the zero degree for X and the Y axis. And we get back. You will see the even place should be zero, zero degree on X and Y, but now zero degree on X, but 36 degrees on Y axis. And let's go, go back to the original place, this one. To situation, and as you can see from the software user interface, zero and one degrees closely.